Hi, it's Neil Waterhouse. Today, I want to talk about an issue which it comes up a lot, you know, and it's the question of is it best to fo just focus on finding high profit products or is it better to just list more products which have lower profit margins? Personally, I love the saying, many rivers make a stream, and I love this saying for many different reasons. You know, in other words, collecting the profits from lots of sales is always my preferred strategy. The more products you have, the bigger the river which flows into your bank account. And of course, you know, with drop shipping, this doesn't mean you need to spend a ton of money on products. And by implementing low cost outsourced overseas labour from $1 per hour, you don't need to spend your time listing the items. You know, perhaps it's my personality type, but I'm not one of those people who can go from one big sale, then nothing, then to another big sale. Personally, you know, I find that way too stressful. I know it suits some people and that's fine. In a previous life, nearly 20 years ago, I guess it is now, I had a separate business which used to import cars. And one particular um, car that we used to import was the Dodge Viper from the USA. These used to cost me around $130,000, land in Australia, including conversion from left to right hand drive, GST import taxes and all that kind of stuff. And I used to sell them for around 160k to 165k. So every sale was a great yahoo, I made $30,000. However, you know, from the time you purchase the car, until the time it actually sells, it can be a very stressful time as it's a lot of money sitting there and most cars depreciate around 22% per annum. These types of sales can be very, very hard to do cash flow projections. It's the same with e-commerce businesses like eBay, Amazon. You know, I prefer to have continual cash flow that comes from continuous sales you know, every day. And as you get bigger, every hour, then to this, you know, as you get bigger again, nearly every minute, then again, even multiple sales per minute as you get even bigger. Personally, I prefer to have continuous income from many smaller profit repeat sales. And by the time, by the time repeat, I mean we only sell new items. And with new items, you can sell a new item over and over again, sometimes for years. The great thing with this strategy is if one item slows down or the, you know, the, the price drops, you don't lose any sleep as it's only one item. Whereas if you have a business which doesn't have many items, but each item makes a high profit, that can be stressful. And if you run out of that product or the margins drop, you know, for that particular product, you know, you're in trouble. I've seen this a lot when people fall in love with a niche. Either they only sell cameras, calculators, garden accessories, or some other niche. Now, someone staying locked into one niche can be a great thing if you know that niche, you're passionate about that niche, or you have some special connections to it. However, other times, the niche can be too small and the owners could often be missing out tons of opportunities from not selling other hot selling, high profit products. I've seen this over and over over the years. Now, it, and, and eBay sellers and Amazon sellers often put all their eggs in one basket with one niche and this you know, can go really well until a new competitor comes into the same niche you know, and then the profit margins can drop. Many people think that you know, adding a lot of products is a lot of work, but it doesn't have to be that way. As this process can be fully automated. The whole idea, of course, of building an online business is to build a business which runs and grows by itself 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. That's all for this week. Please leave a comment for me below. Until next week, list more, sell more. This is Neil Waterhouse.